Welcome to Pokemon Pearl. Diamond, I forgot. All right, Diamond or Pearl with only Daily Bird. Huzzah, Christmas special. Merry Christmas. This drops on Christmas, if I get it done in time anyway. So yeah, let's get Daily Bird. Christmas special, yay. How many people are doing this? Daily Bird challenge. Okay, first present missed and the next one heals. Then the next few ones heal. Great start to present, my present look, right? Well, it continues. Starly goes down easily. But, dude, while training, I healed so many enemy Pokemon, which I missed all. All right, time to fight Barry. I he lives off Starly at present, and I almost take it out. Then I take it out with a hidden power, which is steel, by the way. Talk about a Christmas miracle, and you'll see why in a second. I go for present, and then Hanukkah takes him out. Yeah, I know Hanukkah's already happened, but hey, let it be, all right? Rourke time. He lives off a of Geodude. One hidden power steel takes him out. Next up's Onyx. I hidden power steal him. He heals. Then I hidden power him again. Then I take him out with another hidden power. All right, last up's Cranidos. I hidden power almost kill him. He was for Leer. Another hidden power takes him out. That was Rourke. Uh, what a miracle that hidden power became steel. If it wasn't steel or, or by god electric, this would have been a whole lot harder. But hey, let's be happy about it. Alright, let's fight Mars. She leads off a Zubat, lead off a Hanukkah. I present it, it bites, I present it, it leech life, and take it out with a, with a hidden power because I know I'd probably heal it. Alright, next up's Pearl Ugly. I go for, it goes for Scratch, I go for hidden power, see what, how much damage it does, it goes for Pain Attack, and I eventually get taken out because I miss a present. Yeah, oh well. Alright, I come back at level 25. I know, probably a bit overkill. Present one shot Zubat. Next up is our Perugly. I go for Hidden Power. It goes for Fan Attack. I go for Hidden Power again. And I take it out with a crit, luckily. Alright, time to fight Erica. She's all with Cherubi, I lead off a Hanukkah. Normally, it's the type of advantage, I have two of them, but I don't. But Deli Bird doesn't learn anything but present, besides TMs. Alright, so Cherubi went down easily. Next up's Turtweak. It sends it sets up withdrawals and it sets up reflect eventually. I just keep hidden powering it down. She heals her Turtweak, which is nice, so her her guard guard over, my god, her Rose Raid wouldn't have any healing. So I hidden power it, it poison stings me, I go for hidden power again. It stun spores me, I go for present. She she eats berry, I go for I go for Ruffle Roth, go for present again, almost kill it. The one final hidden power does its end. Now it's Gardenia. Alright, first up is Jupiter. Present. A couple presents take out our zoo bag as it giga drains. Next up is our skunk tank. Sh I just present it. She goes for poison gas. As I, I go for hidden power to see what does more. This is about the same, so. I just I kept spamming hidden power because no my luck I fucking heal it. It goes for screech. I keep going for hidden power. And I eventually take I eventually take it out with a critical hidden power. Alright, time to fight uh, Barry. This is the last fight we have to do before I can actually get some good TMs. Present one shot to Starly, next up's Monferno. I go for present, he goes for flame wheel, doing about half. I go for present again, luckily taking him out with a higher roll. Next up's Weasel, I go for present again, since I have HP steal, I heal him. He I heal, I miss, I heal him again. He goes for pursuit, I heal him again, and I just sped up, I eventually taking him out with present. Last up's Roselia, I decided to go with present, triple presents, luckily take him out, because of my flying type, I resist to Mega Drains. Alright, another fight, Maylene, I taught, I was able to get Ice Beam and Aerial Ace for Hanukkah. Aerial Ace one shot for Metatite. This is Lucario. I go for Aerial Ace. It goes for Metal Claw, doing about half. And then, I go for Aerial Ace again, bringing it to Red. It goes for Drain Punch, healing himself. You know, Aerial Ace takes it out. Last up's for Macho. It has Rock Tomb, but luckily, Aerial Ace one shots him. That was one shots him. That was Maylene. Yay. Alright, time to fight Crusher Week. He's off with Gyarados. Lead off with the Dilly Bird, of course. Ice Beam. I freeze him, actually. He heals. I Ice Beam again, leave him on Red. He, and I take him out with another Ice Beam. Next up is his Quagsire, one Ice Beam does it in, and last up is Floats... Floats, I'm about to call it Floatsire, Floatzel. And then a critical air takes him out. Alright, time to fight Barry again. And since this is Diamond, he still has a Starly. Whatever. I uh, use Ice Beam to take him out one shot. Next up is Monferno, air lace one shots him. A lot easier than before. Next up is Weasel, I go for air lace again, one, and I one shot him. And Rosalia takes him out with one Ice Beam. Okay, now that Barry's defeated, time to fight Fantina. She's off a drip loom. Ice Beam one shots it. Next up is her Miss Magius. I thief and I steal her uh, Citrus Berry, so it doesn't so it doesn't heal. She goes for Shadow Ball, leave me at E3 health. Thief takes it out. Last up's her Gengar. I go for Thief, leaving it at low yellow health. It's for Poison Jab. I eat Citrus Berry. Now the Thief takes it out, and that's Fantina. We stole. All right, Tenify Berry leads off with Staravia. Lead off with Hanukkah. Ice Beam one shots it. Finally evolved it. Hey Berry. Next up's Monferno and Aerial Ace one shots. I get hit with Mock Punch. Next up is his Heracross, Aerial Ace one shots at four times a week, duh. Next up is Bluezel, Aerial Ace one shots at the game, quick attack. And last up is his Roselia, one Ice Beam does it in. Alright, now that Barry's defeated, time to fight Byron. He leads off a Bronzer, I lead off, and I use Ice Beam on his Bronzer. He goes for Flash Cannon, 
Then I aggro for Ice Beam again, barely not killing him, just for Confuse Ray. Then he heals his Bronzor. I hit myself with Confusion. I use Ice Beam again, does about half, he uses Extra Sensory. I use Ice Beam to bring him back to Red. He uses Hypnosis, but Vile Spirit doesn't allow it. I take it out. Next up is Bastiodon. I Ice Beam it, I freeze it, and then I go over Ice Beam again, getting a crit, but then he thaws out, then rests. Then he eats his chest over. I go for Ice Beam again, goes for a rest. I just go for Ice Beam two more times. He just stalled me out, and he eventually took me out with a with uh, Asian power. Okay, I come back a level 65. Ice Beam almost one shots Bronzer with a crit. Next up is Bastiodon. I go for Ice Beam. Then he goes for rest. He eats his chest of berry. Then I go for Ice Beam again. He goes for Ancient Power. Gets the boost, but then I get a critical Ice Beam taking him out. That was lucky. Last up, Steelix. One Ice Beam does it in. Thank God I got that crit, because I did not feel like grinding again. <laughs> My God. Turn to fight Saturn. He's off with Cadaver, I three for one shot. Next up is Bronzor, two Ice Beams do it in. And last up is his Toxic Croak, and well, it's a fine type, and I have, and I have Aerial Ace. I'm pretty sure you can do the math on that. Or I guess, guess what I did. I don't know. Alright, time to fight Candice. She leads off with Snover, I lead off with Hanukkah. Of course I do. Aerial Ace, one shot Snover. Next up, Sneasel. This is Medicham, I meant. Aerial Ace, one shots it. I forgot she had Medicham and Diamond. Next up, Sneasel. I, I go for Hidden Power on it. It goes for Slash, then she heals. I go for Aerial Ace, then I just take it out with another Aerial Ace. Last up is her Obama Snow. I, I, I start Aerial Acing it down. She sends out... It eats its berry. Tries to go for Grass Whistle, but it misses. I also have Vile Spirit, so it doesn't matter. Aerial Ace takes it out, and that was Candace. Yay. My dumbass forgot to kick Mars's ass at this lake. I didn't even know you could skip her and go to the gym. That's the first time I ever did that, but yeah. I'm over 40 levels over most of her Pokemon. It, it was too damn easy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're fighting the Grinch. He's trying to ruin Christmas. I Ice Beam his Murkrow. Next up is his Golbat. Ice Beam one-shots it. You never really realized that besides his Wee besides his Sneasel slash Weavile, this dude's a flying-type trainer. <laughs> and Diamond and Pearl. And I use Hidden Power to get a power stick out his Sneasel. Yeah. Cyrus is in... First Cyrus fight's pretty damn easy. Okay, time to fight... Saturn again. He leads off with Kadabra. Thief one-shots it. Next up is his Bronzor. I go for an Ice Beam. Two Ice Beams take it out. It's going to shot ball. Last up is his Toxicroak. One Aerial Ace does it in. So yeah. Y'all everyone knows what's next in these runs. The worst fight in almost any run, really, besides me Tate and Liza. The double- honestly, worst Tate and Liza. Double between Mars and Jupiter. So I focused on Jupiter first by Ice Beaming down her Bronzor as it goes- I take out Jupiter's Bronzor. Two Ice Beams at- for the first turn, as the second Bronzor is Jarabiling me, and you know, Muntox being useful by going for Stockpile Bunch. Ice Beam almost one shot Skunk Tanky to Teberi, because Poison Jab on Munchlax poisons it. Jarabal, I got Jarabal by Han I got Jarabal by the uh, Bronzor. I go for Ice Beam again, take out Skunk Tank. Munchlax, I get hit with Confuse Ray, Munchlax with a Body Slam, paralyzing the Bronzor. Next up is Golbat. I, I use Ice Beam to take out Golbat. Alright, now it's all Jupiter's Pokemon. Now time to focus on Mars. Munchlax gets taken out by poison. I'm on red health. He sends out Infernape. I love this snap out of confusion. Ice Beam will takes it out. Flame Wheel takes it out of Infernape. Alright, next up is Perogly. He doesn't and it's I go for Ice Beam. Goes for Aerial Ace on Infernape, luckily. Then Infernape takes it out with a close combat. The last up's our Golbat. Ice Beam takes it out in one shot. That got extremely lucky there. It's a Hanukkah miracle. You know Hanukkah happened a while ago. <laughs> Alright, Cyrus time. Ice Beam one shots his Hanukkah Crow. Next up is Gyarados. Ice Beam took two shots after Ice Fang. Next up is his Weavile. So I have Hidden Power Steel and Aerial Ace. So I go for I go for Thief to steal his Citrus Berry. He goes for Ice Punch. I eat the bear after the first Ice Punch. I go for Aerial Ace for damage. So the same. I go for Brick Break. I go for Aerial Ace again. I barely start the Ice Punch. He heals and then he takes me out with the Night Slash. Alright, I'm back at level 85. Ice Beam one shots his Honchkrow. Next up is his Gyarados. Ice Beam one shots it. Ice Beam two shots after getting hit with an Aqua Tail and he heals with a Super Potion. Yeah, he has a Super Potion, I don't know why. It's a maxi bullshit. Crowback is in a one Ice Beam. Next up, last up is Weavile. I go for a Hidden Power Steel. I do about 60% to It's Stitch Berry, goes for X Scissor for some reason. I go for a Hidden Power, but not to get it out, goes for Brick Break. He heals with a Full Store, and two more Hidden Powers put him in his place. And that's the Cyrus spot over. See, see ya, Grinch. Alright, time to take on Nar Boruto's Grandpa. Ice Beam one shots Raichu. Next up is his Luxray. Ice Beam one shots it with a critical. Next up is his Ambipalm. 
Ice Beam one shots it and lasts up to Stock Killer, which ironically puts up the most challenge because it survives an aerial ace. Yeah, it's kind of interesting thinking that this one doesn't have a have a Electivire. But yeah, that's all he gems. Time for the Alright, call me dad, Barry, because I'm about to end all your hopes of ambitions. I ice beam one shot a Star Raptor. Next up is Infernape. I go for Aerial Ace. For some reason, his dumbass goes for Shadow Claw. See, Barry? This is why you don't win. I take another Aerial Ace, take him out. Next up is his Heracross. Aerial Ace one shots it. It's kind of funny how he doesn't get another Fighting type. If he has a. He gets another Fighting type even if he has a Monferno. Two Aerial Aces take out his Float Slots or a Crunch and Aqua Jet. Next up is his Snorlax, where I luckily get a freeze on him for the first Ice Beam. He has some level 100 now. I figured I'd just jump the horse on that. Two Ice Beams take it out. And last up is Roserade, and well, Grass type, you can get Ice Flying. It went as he thought it would. Alright, time to fight Bug Boy. He leaves off Dust Talks, leaves off Lanaka. Aerial Ace one shots it. Next up is his Vespi Queen. Ice Beam one shots it. Next up is his Heracross. Aerial Ace one shots it. Drapion goes down to a. to a few air. to, to an Ice Beam. Then last up is his Beauty Fly, which I take out with an Aerial Ace. Okay, now that's over with. Time to fight Bertha, the easily most forgettable one. Is it gonna play the first two of the most forgettable ones? Probably because in the enemy they didn't get much. Quagdire gets to protect, now to take out an Ice Beam, take out a Golem, take out one Ice Beam. Pseudo Wudo goes out to a Hidden Power Steel. Two Hidden Power Steels, he sets up a Sandstorm. And then I go for Hidden Power again and take him out. Next up is his. This is Whisk Cash. So I go for Ice Beam and I take it out in one shot. To get out a couple ice beams after she heals. So I use Aerial Ace to stay PP on Ice Beam to Aerial Ace to take it out. Next up is her Hippowdon. I go for Ice Beam, and there, she, and there you have it. That was Bertha. I max, I ether the Ice Beam between fights, and next up is Flint. I go for Aerial Ace on his Rapid Ash. It goes for Solar Beam for some reason. Now Aerial Ace takes it out. Next up is Infernape. Aerial Ace one shots it. And that's basically the challenge part for Flint because, you know, you only get, there's only two fire types in this deck. Ice Beam one-shot Steelix. Next up is Drift Blim. Ice Beam one-shots it. Next up, last up is Little Punny. And I just go for Ice Beam again and I take it out on an Ice Beam. Alright, time to fight Lucian. He yells Mr. Mime off Hanukkah. I go for a couple double beam, Double beams. When I got double teams, I was able to sum most of them up. I go for Thief. Two Thieves to take on Mr. Mime. I went for it because I know Bronzong could easily kill me. Hell, look at this Jar Ball. Yeah, it's just half my health. Luckily, I was able to steal his berry. He heals. I keep going for Ice Beams, and I eventually take him out. Next up is Medicham. One Aerial Ace takes him out. Last up, next up is Alakazam. I go for Thief. A couple Thieves take it out as he hits me with Energy Ball. And last up is his Giraffe Rig, and I just use a couple Thieves. In between fights, after this, I uh, max, I elixir most of my moves. Alright, next up, is a uh, fucking Cynthia. I have to send up all double teams successfully. I Ice Beam, get a critical on Spirit Tomb, luckily. Next up's Gastrodon. I go for Ice Beam again. I freeze it. Another, and then Aerial Ace takes it out to her PP. Next up's my Lodic. I go for Aerial Ace. She goes for Ice Beam and misses. I go for Aerial Ace again. Ice Beam and misses. The reason why I go for Aerial Ace again, and I eventually take him out. I just sets up an Aqua and heals it. Alright, next up's Roserade. Ice Beam one shots it. Next up is our Garchomp. I go for Thief to get, to get the Citrus Berry because. Her last Pokemon, Lucario, has Aura Spear. For some reason, it goes for a Psychic, though, so two Aerial Aces take it out, and that was Cynthia. And Delibird's the champion of the Sinnoh region. Yay. And there you have it, folks. That was Pokemon Diamond with only a Delibird. Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year, even though I'll probably see you, maybe not in a Pokemon challenge, but in another video after this. <laughs> oh, well. Oof. That was very lucky, I gotta say. Alright, so just out for the future. See you later, mates.